Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you what you can do if you cannot delete a file or a folder because it is used by another program or process. For example, I have this video folder here and if I try to delete that, I get the message that the folder is in use and cannot be deleted. In most cases, what helps is close any open programs from the taskbar or restart your computer. In most cases, this will solve the problem and you can delete the folder or the file. In some rare cases, there might be the issue that some background process is using the folder or some file and we want to find out which process is accessing the folder. Okay, let's close the error message. And in order to find out which process is accessing our folder, we will use a small program, the Process Explorer. It's a small free tool from Microsoft. I will put the link in the video description and just download. It's a small zip file. I already downloaded it here and just open the zip file. And then you have three applications in it. The first one is for 32-bit Windows systems. The second one, uh, is for 64-bit Windows systems. And the last one with the A at the end is for 64-bit ARM-based systems. So just extract the version you need for your system. In my case, it's a 64-bit version. Here it is, and just start it. And what you can see, the Process Explorer is basically a task manager with some more functions and um, how we can find out which process from the long list here is accessing our folder. Um, we have to copy the path here from the Explorer. Just click in the address bar and copy the complete the full path. And then in the Process Explorer, click on the Find menu and Find Handle or DLL. And here in the text box, just paste the pass and click on search. And after a few seconds, you should see the processes, processes which access our file or folder. In our case is the explorer.exe because, well, we have opened our folder here in the explorer. And there's also a third process which is called VLC. So we have opened our file here in VLC and this is causing our problem. So now we have find out uh, which process is accessing our folder. We have the process name vlc.exe and we also have the process ID. And the next step is just to terminate the process. Uh, in our case, we can just uh, close the process here from the taskbar. But if you cannot find the process in the taskbar, you can uh, delete uh, or terminate the process from the process explorer. Okay, the process ID is 844. Eight. And so we just sort here the process ID, PID for, uh, um, for 8448. Here it is. And as we can see, it's vlc.exe. And then you can right click on it and kill the process. Select OK. And the process is gone. And now we should be able to delete our folder. And as you can see, now it worked. So so you can find out which process is accessing a file or a folder and prevents it from deletion. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.